I'm the same guy, new mask. New mask. I'm here at Target. Mask is precaution, but speaking to you guys now. Doing good. Just navigating through traffic here. Head to check out. I had a really simple order here at Target. It was three items, five units. So I know you guys like playing mathematics with me. What that means is three specific items, but they're counting. The number five is the count. So I have the Takis, Fuego chips, and Herbal Essence conditioner. Two of the Argan Oil conditioners by Herbal Essence and a party size of Swedish, Swedish Fish Minis. So if you guys remember, in the days of malls being popular, you would see Swedish Fish. Swedish Fish. It's a form of like a gummy candy. Hi ladies, excuse me. All right. And um, the Argan Oil Conditioner by Herbal Essence is right there. And the Takis Fuego Chips. I've been hearing about them. You know, culturally, I just hear what people are into. And I have a lot of experience in what I do. Like with Uber and Lyft, I've been through South Florida. I, I remember certain trips. Just general, you know, young adults, they begin spending time with each other, getting to know each other on a personal level. They say, man, you go over, you go over our house, man, they got Takis. That was the first time I tried the Takis. So they hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like people share their experience. I never ate them, but it's popular chip. People like them. It's, it may be what Doritos may have been to your generation. Doritos or certain forms of Cheetos, or what have you. It's that, that simple. Literally, the company gives me a payment card and I pay with the payment card. And um, that's how it's done, guys. It's, it's not coming out of your weekly pay. It's the company card. And you use it when you're doing work for the company. It doesn't work outside of that, so that's how that works. So. You may be with multiple companies and have multiple cards. Sometimes you may have to check. So I'm here checking out. Hey. How you doing? Don't be alarmed when shooting the video. Only with me though. Only with me. Yeah. So the checkout process is really easy. Just just me. Go through. It gets ringed up. I pay with the company card. Just a moment, guys. It'll tell you if you need to run it as debit or credit as well. Inside of the app. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. So there it is, guys. I just ran that as credit. Company card. My bags. It'd be nice if I got my bags. So. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah. So, uh, guys, I got that done. It's that simple. Inside of Instacart, you don't have to upload receipts. Every so often, you do. Like the last store I was at at CVS, you don't you don't have to do it on every one. Depends on what store you're going to. At CVS because it's over, you know it's over counter drugs and pharmaceuticals. But Sam's Club is another one of those where you will enter the barcode on it. All you have to do is. Inside of the app, there's a barcode scan technology that's gonna prompt you to do it. That's how you do that. So I'm making it out of here, guys, with basically two bags of stuff, three, three items, five units. Like I say, y'all might like that mathematics. It's like, how you get five out of three? That's because of the two takis. The two the two herbal essence conditioners with argan oil, and 
that was one bag of Swedish fish. Three items, five units. Walking outside of Target here. Target Vero Beach, Vero Beach, Florida. I want to share my opportunities with you guys. So many opportunities to make money in the neighborhoods you live. Because in all honesty, there are apartments behind you. There are gated communities of homes, residential homes. So if you're a college student and you have some downtime, this could be a great opportunity to make some money. If you're working and you want more hours at your job but you seem to be capped, this is a great opportunity to make some money. If you're between jobs, you know you got skills, you know you have intentions and abilities, knowledge, skills, abilities, the KSAs that you will see, you could be using this to find your way into that position you want to be at. Because everybody doesn't know exactly where they want to go at a certain age. We don't all know that. So have mercy on yourself. And I hope that the people around you counting on you have the mercy on you too. Because I know how that can feel. I'd like to be transparent in my life about how that can feel. Hi there. So, placing these two inside the vehicle with me. Just gonna hop in and drive it to them. And inside of the app, when you when you check out, when you're done, all you have to do, all you have to do, guys, is use the navigation tool. They had an update in the app, which was great, where you can call or text the, the person if you need to, and GPS navigation is there. So you get to see how to get there, how far away it is, and then it's going to let you know if it's a contact list delivery where you need to take a picture of the item. You just leave it at wherever they ask you to. It may not say a place. That means the front door or something like that. Some people say, like my last customer, even though she opened the door, she was speaking with me. She said, leave it under that umbrella, the table under that umbrella at her residence. And inside of that, like I said, it's all in the app. You don't have to do all kind of extra stuff. Your app does a lot of the rep the things that are requested of you it's how you it's how you collect that you got the items it's how you up upload the barcode or receipt if you had to like i said at cvs or at sam's club but here at target i didn't have to and if you have a situation where you need to take a picture of the delivery items send that that's all you have to do so all of my friends around the country i want you to take advantage of this opportunity if you if you put in a little bit of work, trust me, you're doing your part to create jobs in America. I've seen the impact of it. This area is creating curbside pickup for customers where they order it in the app. They're coming to pick it up curbside. It's created the jobs also for the in-store worker for Instacart. Like I told you guys, I referenced this one that I saw for Port Orange, Florida. Port Orange is south of Daytona where the in-store worker makes about 11 an hour. It's 11 an hour. That's why I say about. Could be different in another market. But literally, they got themselves an hourly job for people that are more concerned about, I don't want to put a car out there. That sounds like a great opportunity. And I know how much I'm being paid. You know, Everybody looks at work opportunities different. But for those who want to drive to do deliveries, don't feel like it's very demanding at all. It really isn't because in most zones like where I am, you get to choose the batch that you want to do. They call them batches. So you'll see that this one is three items that might interest you. Simple, you know. You may see another one that says five or seven or nine. They might interest you. But it always tells you up front how much you're going to make, which is great. In the gig and the ride share economy, you know that you're going to make nine there or 18 there or 45 there. And that can be on any size order. People are very generous tippers. I just wanted, to, wanted you guys to understand that. So you're getting into good work if you choose to do this. I'm going to sign off now, guys. I'm going to post this to Instagram TV and to YouTube. I'll check in with you later. Be blessed.